Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Angela Drummond Matthews. Welcome to week four of Composition One. Last week, you learned about how to write a James Schaefer style paragraph and essay. This week, we're going to apply those skills to a standard five paragraph essay. We're going to look at essays and see if we can identify the structures we learned about. We're also going to learn how to revise, edit, and peer edit our essays. First, let's talk about reading essays. What is an essay really? We all figure we know one when we see one, but how is it defined? Generally, an essay is a short piece of writing on a single subject. That describes a lot of writing, so let's narrow it down. An essay can be an article, or a research paper. It can be informal, like what I did last summer, or it can be formal, like the effect of climate change on American coastlines. It can even fall somewhere in between, like how to bake a cake. All essays have in common an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. In the introduction, we see features like a hook, or a sentence that draws the reader in background information to help the reader understand the context, and a thesis statement, which tells the reader exactly what the essay will cover and in what general order information will appear. The most basic form is the five paragraph essay, which we discussed last week. It has an introduction, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. If you were to write those five paragraphs, you would indeed have written an essay. But that essay would be the most basic form of essay you could write. The five paragraph essay is a good guideline for writing essays, but it is not a structure to adhere to forever. It's a structure to be transcended. What if I added a paragraph or two to the body? What if my introduction was more than one paragraph? What if instead of five paragraphs, I had five or even more sections of multiple paragraphs. We're going to look at essays written by professional writers. Can you find the structures we learned about last week in those essays? After we explore essays and discuss them with our groups, we're going to learn about revision. Essay writing is not just sitting down and typing up a bunch of stuff into a Word document. It's a process that takes several steps. First is pre-writing. This is when you figure out your topic, your audience, and why you're writing. You do your research and gather ideas. You might also do some exercises like free writing and mapping to get your creative juices flowing. Next comes the drafting phase. In this stage, you write out what you think will be your essay. You try to follow your pre-writing strategies like outlining and the information you gathered to make a piece of writing that makes sense. But how do you know it makes sense? Just because it makes sense to you does not mean that it'll make sense to someone else. You need peers to help you go over your paper. Let your friends or classmates look at your paper to see if it makes sense to them look at their comments, and then revise. Fix confusing phrasing, or maybe write a whole new draft. Then let your peers look at it again. Do they think it's better? If they have more comments, you can repeat the process. The next step is editing. Editing is going over a piece of writing with a fine-toothed comb, looking for grammar errors, word choice errors, formatting errors, spelling errors, citation errors, anything like that. Make sure there are no little mistakes that could cloud your message or make your reader lose faith in your credibility. When all of that is done, it's time to publish your work. In our case, that means turning in your assignment. In real life though, you could post on a blog, submit an article to a magazine or news organization, or even publish a book. Next, 
We're going to learn about how to go about editing and revising by reading an article and watching a video. When you edit a peer's paper, you need to help them to see if they got their message across. It isn't enough to look over their writing and say, it looks good to me. You need to read the essay carefully. Do you understand what the writer is trying to say? Could the writer have said it better? How? Do you see any obvious errors that the writer could correct? Do the sentences flow smoothly or are, or are they awkward? How might they fix those sentences? One of the biggest problems I see in student work is the lack of following the directions in the assignment. When you look at a classmate's paper, look also at the instructions of the assignment. Did the writer actually adhere to the requirements? If not, what did they forget to do? You might think that you aren't ready to answer questions like this, but you are. You knew certain things when you first came to class and you learned even more in the last few weeks. You have access to the assignment so you can check that. But most importantly, you can read something and tell the writer whether or not you understood it. Every one of you knows something that the others don't. If you pool your knowledge by helping one another edit your papers, everyone will benefit. After you've read and viewed the information about revising and editing, we'll try peer editing your Jane Schaefer essays. Turn in your Jane Schaefer essay to the peer editing assignment during the submission period. When the submission period ends, go back to the peer editing assignment. You will have been assigned at least four papers to peer edit. Answer the questions about each paper and about your own paper. Add your own comments too. After the peer editing period is over, go back to the peer editing assignment. You'll be able to see your classmates comments. Take their advice into account and revise your paper. Turn in your final draft by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. I hope you get a lot out of the activities this week. If you have any questions, you can email me. We'll also have an optional class discussion on Friday. Check Blackboard for times. That's all for now. Work hard and stay safe. Bye-bye.